Muscle building supplements, protein versus EAAs versus BCAAs, which one should I consume? Well, first we have to understand that BCAAs is non-essential, meaning that your body can produce it all by itself. EAAs are essential, so you have to consume them. And protein actually contains all of the 20 amino acids, essential and non-essential amino acids. So in today's video, I'm gonna deep dive into the difference between the three and which one you should be taking. BCAAs usually have the three non-essential amino acids. So these are the ones that are focused on protein synthesis, but they're not as good as the EAAs, so the essential amino acids, which is nine of them, where there's true protein synthesis. So one helps to suggest to build muscle, while the other is the building block, so it's the guaranteed thing that you need in order to have that protein synthesis, which is going to help to repair and regrowth of your muscle tissue. So between the two, which one should you consume? Well, if you already bought the BCAAs, finish them up. If you can go to the store and pick up EAAs and you want to stay in a zero caloric budget, so you don't want to affect by eating more protein to get more EAAs, then you would get the EAAs in my opinion, they're tasty, great way to boost your water intake, and if they help with building my muscle, no problem. But overall, protein powder is always gonna be the best bang for your buck. And ideally, an isolate. Now for me, the Limitless Ferrero Rocher is my number one protein for taste, texture, and it's an isolate, which means that it has a guarantee of being 90% protein or more. Whereas if you get away, it could be anywhere from like 30 to 40%. So you're actually not consuming all protein. You could be consuming more carbs, more fats, and more fillers. When it comes to EAAs, I love the orange. It's my favorite flavor. And I usually drink two to three of those a day. They're usually when I'm not eating or when I'm trying to do fasting in a low calorie fast. So a zero calorie fast, but they're still artificial sweeteners. BCAAs, the only BCAAs that I'll actually consume are usually the Amino IQ. And I like the Amino IQ because it has the brain stimulant factors. And these brain stimulant factors is something that I'll usually take midday when I'm going to be having in my meetings. So instead of just having like a tea, which after I've broken my fast, tea is no good to me anymore. And I usually don't want to just drink a coffee because there's no real like major perks when it comes to like building muscle or waking up the brain outside of stimulating me and then making me sleepy. So I will have the BCAAs, which is going to be a little bit of caffeine and it's going to have some brain feel in there as well. Just the amino IQs. But again, overall, between EAAs, BCAAs, and you're only to buy one, then stick with the protein powder. If you're gonna have the protein powder, then you need to focus on getting the isolate because it has more protein in it per serving than if you were to get the whey. So that wraps up today's deep dive into the world of amino acids and protein supplementation. Remember, BCAAs are non-essential, that the body can produce them. EAAs are essential and they're the essential building blocks so they must be consumed in order for your body to go through the proper process of building new muscle. And when it comes to the most complete package, protein takes the crown with containing all of the 20 amino acids. Now if you're wondering which one is right for you, it's all about understanding your fitness goals. Protein, EAAs, or maybe you've even used BCAAs in your arsenal, the choice is yours. Personally, my go-to for taste, texture, and the muscle building goodness is the Limitless Ferrero Rocher, a top-notch isolate boasting a whopping 90% protein or more. When it comes to the EAAs, you guys know that the orange flavor is a game changer, and those that already invested in BCAAs, I recommend the Amino IQs. So there you have it, your guide to amino acids and protein supplementation. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and if you found it helpful, drop in the comments what is your go-to. Is it protein, EAAs, or BCAAs? So the, until the next time, stay fit, stay fueled, and keep pushing your limits.